I am Ben from the Cyber Omnit. I am here to talk about a pretty cool project I've been working on for the last two years, collaborating with my sister Bailey Egan, who is an applied animal biology researcher at the University of British Columbia. She came up to me and was like, Hey, hey ben, ben, can you find a way to automatically track cats in an animal shelter to find out if they're eating, drinking, and using the litter box? Litter box. I thought I was going to build an RFID system, but that turned out to be really hard. I then turned to computer vision, and while there's some pretty cool neural networks, they need to be trained on the specific cats. Got thinking that maybe we could just track an easily understood visual tag, and came across a great solution using something inside the OpenCV library called Aruko. These are just a library of unique tags that can be identified by OpenCV and they were actually originally used to track robots playing soccer, but it seemed like a really easy request to apply this to the cats as well. She ran a study this summer on a bunch of cats where we were able to validate this as a technology. This has been dubbed Behavior Real-Time Spatial Tracking ID, or Bursted. Thanks to funding and support by NSERC and the BCSPCA, we were able to actually test out the bursted system this year in an animal shelter setting when we had many, many cats that all looked identical, but they needed to be group housed. So we had paper veterinary ID collars that were attached, and then we simply just attached the unique uh, tags to each collar, and then we monitored their eating or drinking behavior. Now to validate this technology, we also manually coded those videos to see uh, how much the bursted output corresponded to the human coded reports of whether the cats were eating or drinking. And we found that we had very, very highly correlated outputs between what the bursted system said and what the human said. What I wanna give you now is a demo of actually running this yourself. It should be agnostic to compute platform, but it all starts by going to the repo. So if you just Google Ben Rules 2 Burst GitHub, get a link to my page, get to Burst. So you'll start by just copying the path in GitHub, clone, paste that in there. If you're on Mac, you'll also want to run brew install OpenCV. If you're on another system, I would head to OpenCV to find out how to install that. Okay, so I'm already up to date there. You'll also have to install the requirements that came with this package. I'll install those, and I've already got those too. But um, there's a link down here as well. Once you are set up, just copy pasting this. Should show you a happy little dog named Rupert, and he's got sort of the prototype test run of this system. And you can see it starts recognizing. Another really neat thing we can do is path dash dash ROI. What that lets us do is draw box around where we want to look for the tag. So let's say this cushion had his food dish, putting it there, and when he turns just a bit, you can see it hits. You can see that it's in ROI zero as well. So you can actually draw multiple ROIs and track where the subject is for a bunch of different regions of interest. Um, you can also just pass in video files without streaming from your computer. And in that case, not previewing might save you some processing time. So those are some things you can play with. Um, there's also a directory in here called markers. So if I say open markers, you can see we've got 15 distinct markers. Let's open. If I just print this off, we can track that marker. I've got it. Now you can see, I hold this up. Spin it around, this is an example where we've got two different ones, and very low barrier of entry to get started with this, and a lot of different ways it can be applied. I think the question of expanding the computer vision capabilities is really interesting. This is very crude, literally just looks in every frame if the markers are identifiable. But if we use state and context from previous frames, we could create a model of motion through the scene. If anybody wants to contribute to this repo, help with the computer vision tracking, pose some neural network based alternatives, I will be watching for pull requests. This has also been published in scientific reports. Uh, I'll drop a link to that publication. While the study that we worked on validated this technology for eating and drinking behavior in shelter cats, we hope that bursted can be used for a wide variety of animals in a range of settings by, by anyone who wants to work on it. 
Being able to closely track animal behavior like this might not only benefit research, but it also has the potential to be able to help inform much, much better care of the animals that we take care of. So hopefully there will be much more research to come on this. And if you want to get in touch with me or learn more about our work, you can check out my website below.